Alright, welcome back everybody to whoever actually views this channel, um, which I don't think is many, but, you know, I've been bored because I've had a lot of free time, so I just wanted to do a video to kind of rant a little. Like I said, I don't know who's actually going to see this video, if anyone, but I wanted to add this to the channel and uh, and just, yeah, to kind of do a good little video here. Kind of, I think, what Total Biscuit does when he was still alive. He would do little video chats like this where he would talk and um, play games uh, to kind of at least make it a little entertaining. So, that's kind of what I'm doing here. I am I'm playing some World of Warcraft Classic right now. Um, and, yeah, I, I um, am playing this because it just came out. My brothers are all heavily playing. Let me just close this window. A little, a little breezy. Anyways, so if you have not seen my videos in the past, that's fine. I don't expect many people to have seen them. Like I mentioned, this channel is extremely slow, if if anything. So, anyways, get to the point here. What am I doing? Why are we? Why are we here? Why am I recording this? Well little background on myself, um, you know, I, uh, I wanted to rant about jobs and how <laughs> they're a pain in the butt, absolutely pain in the butt, um, and I'm stunned on, honestly, how big of a pain in the butt they are to, to get, you know, um, I feel like I got quite a bit of experience, um, so a little background to me here. Like I said, this is going to be a ranting video, so so just kind of enjoy, hopefully, World of Warcraft while I, while I rant a little. I don't really have a camera or anything to film me, so you don't get to see my lovely face, but anyways. Um, yeah, so like I said, so kind of background on myself. I'm a game developer. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, you'll see I have kind of some little things on, on um, the uh, Bioshock, which I worked on, um, kind of some behind-the-scenes notes and kind of tidbits I gave, gave, gave out. So, so I, wor I worked in the game industry, um, went to school for computer science um, and all that, and then I graduated. And at the time, the video game industry was very competitive for programmers, so I kind of started at the bottom when, you know, went, and did pro went and did QA for a little bit, got my foot in the door that way. And, um, yeah, I did that for a couple of years and then eventually actually moved in development while I was doing design and programming for some indie companies as well as some bigger companies. Well, what happened along the way is my, my, uh, I got married, you know, my wife and I, we were living in California and, um, we did that and she was eventually offered a job, an incredible job, a job that we really couldn't pass up. So I, uh, so we, she took it. But that job required us to move to another state. And, um, and yeah, we, so we moved to another state. We came out here and now we're settled here. So I, I left my old job, um, in games, you know, where we moved. There are some game companies, not as many as LA, not definitely not as many as LA, but there's still some. And, and, you know, I, we, I left to, uh, to support her, so I left my job. So I've been unemployed now coming up probably a good month and a half, right? And that kills me um, because, it, 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 you know, it's a bit personal, but yeah, it, it, it kind of sucks. It really does suck, I should say, actually, how, how much it is. I, I've, I have over eight years of experience in, in game programming, testing, design, and everything, and I feel like I've worked very hard in my career. Uh, to get where I am, you know, I put a lot of time and effort, long days, all that jazz, if you've, if you've worked in video games or any software for that matter. And, <clears throat> and here we are, we moved to this new area, I'm not going to necessarily say where, but we moved to this new area, and there's company, there's software companies everywhere, a lot of software companies. Um, and, you know, I'm sitting there, when I, when I left my job, I tried working remote, but they wouldn't let me. So I'm like, whatever, that's fine, you know, no worries. It doesn't need to go your way for me. 
So we move out here, and, you know, like I said, we've been out here about a month and a half. She's been doing great. Her job's accelerating. She's doing incredible. And we're here, and I've been looking for a job, like I said, in software. My background is in C++, C Sharp programming, you know, Unity, Unreal kind of thing. If um, you worked in engines, those are the engines I've worked in and programmed in, so I know them pretty well. And um, I come out here, and there's software jobs all over. A lot more software jobs than programming jobs. Some video game companies, not many, which um, kind of makes sense. It's, you know, the way it is right now. And I can't get hired. Uh, and I don't know why. And it's actually very frustrating in today's world, I guess. I feel like I, I don't know what's going on, you know. So, like I said, I have over eight years of experience. I started in testing and I moved my way into programming and been doing programming and design for the past five years now. You know, three of those years in, in the video games was testing. But then I you moved out and, and yeah, got into actual, you know, making the games. And, and yeah, let me tell you, it, it's, it's a bitch, to say lightly. And, and I've applied, I've been here a month and a half, and I've applied to almost probably uh, 60 jobs now, and I've probably gotten 20 rejections so far, the other 40-ish or, you know, haven't heard from. And, and like I was saying, it's, it's frustrating because I can't even get an interview. I, I can't even get a call back. And I don't know why. I sit there, I review my resume, I kind of, you know, do online stuff t to fix it for software engineering. You know, they want four or five, they're looking at, oh, we want two, two plus, two, three, please. Yeah, two to three years plus of programming. And I'm thinking, all right, that's easy. You know, I've been doing C Sharp, C++ for almost seven years now since I graduated college um, with a degree in computer science, right? And, I, and I'm thinking, yeah, this will be, this would be pretty pretty quick. Get a good call back here soon, and and um, and yeah, and here we are. Nothing. Can't get nothing. Can't get anything. And and I I just don't get it. So the past you know past while it's been pretty pretty sad. Um, you know I sit there and I wonder is it me? Is it my resume? Like what am I what am I doing wrong here exactly? Like I just don't just don't get it, uh, you know, and, and I, and yeah, I, I just wish I knew, and I, I don't, though, I really don't, I, I sit there, and I fix my resume, I go over it, I go over my cover letter, uh, I tr I'm trying here to, to figure out what is going on, you know, why, what, 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 what is, what is it? And, and I just can't, you know, um, I, yeah, you know, like I said, I've tweaked the resume, I've, I've updated it, I've tried all these things, and I just can't, I can't for life of me get a, even a callback, I can't get a callback, and it's so disheartening to, to be in that situation, you know, it's disheartening to me, like, I feel like, um, these past couple days, I've actually had to dumb down my resume because I, I, I think, am I overqualified? Do they look at it and they're like, oh my god, this guy's got too much experience? Because cause I'm not going to lie, I've never necessarily done software engineering, um, so it's it's kind of new to me. It's it's something, uh, oh man, I'm going to die here, aren't I? Dang it. Screw me, I guess. Damn hyena thingy. Um... And, you know, like I said, I sit there and I wonder, like, is it me or do I have too much experience? So I've had to dumb down it. And, and I, you know, I browse the Reddit, Reddit subreddits of, like, found a job, got a job, all that stuff to kind of just, yeah, just see what people have to say. And everyone's always in there like, oh, keep your head up, keep your head up. It's, you know, I've been on, I was unemployed for four months, five months, a year, some people say, and I finally got this job. And, and... That's fine and all, I, you know, I, I get that, but it's just, it's kind of crazy, that thought, that, like, a year, like, I, I just couldn't fathom myself that, like, I feel like, I, I mean, I've been working a while now, over eight years, like I mentioned, from when I graduated college, I immediately got going and working and doing this, and so I sit here every day, and I'm like, how, I, I, I like, I just, are there that many people applying for these jobs, and they just look at it, and they're like, nope, no, 
No, you know, and 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 you know, if someone ever, if someone out there watches this video, maybe comment on it. But it's it's just interesting because I, I said I don't know, I don't know what to do. You know, I I don't get me wrong. Some of these, these software positions, that's why I kind of a, kind of dumb myself down a little bit. They're asking for some HTML or some Java background, and while I haven't necessarily worked in those languages uh exclusively or anything i know of them i know the syntax it's kind of one thing give me a book and i'll I, you know i'll read it and that's what i've kind of been doing in my spare time has been reading a book on java to learn it because that's what everyone's asking for and it's just crazy like you know we want some experience right we want some experience in said area um something and and yeah like i've mentioned it's just crazy when I guess I should rephrase that. They, they, you sit, I sit there and I look at the job posting. The job posting is simply like, oh, you know, we want experience and, um, in this, right? And it's like, okay, we have, I have experience in programming, and that's what they, and you know, how's that, how's that whole thing going, right? Or so, you know, how's the whole search going here, and. And yeah, I feel like I sit there and I try and I try and I try and it's like, nope, nothing, nothing. Well, I feel like that was kind of poorly said. I should rephrase that. Um, they want programming experience. And I sit there and I'm like, I got programming experience. Yep, that's me. I have that experience. I can do this. I, you know, I've been doing it for a while now. Just give me a chance, right? Just give me a chance to to do it, to, to program, to show you, and nothing. I can't get a call. I can't get brought in. I, nothing. And, and it, like I said, it's to people who've been there, who are in my spot, to be an adult in their 30s and approaching that where you just can't get anything. It, it's, it's, it's very hurtful, you know, or very demoralizing because you sit there and you're just like, why? Like, what am I doing wrong? Is it, is it me? Is it my resume? Um, and it's tough. It's real tough. And like I said, it's, it's, it just kind of sucks. Um, and yeah, it's kind of, uh, you know, whole going. Hold on one second. I got a message here. You know, so, so yeah, it's, like I said, I don't know, I don't know, I'm trying, trying, I'm hoping, and uh, keep my head up like everyone always says, just keep your head up, keep working on it, keep, just keep doing your thing, right, you know, that's all you can do is just, just keep kind of going, but, but yeah, it's, it's very, very sad, and and it, it's it's frustrating too. Like I said, you look at these job postings, and and they sit there and they're like, you know, you you, you match, you match what they're asking for. They're asking for this. All right, well, I got this. You know, I got that. I can do this. I can totally do it. And then a week later, you get a rejection letter, and it's like, what? What? Why? Why? Why am I being rejected? And then obviously, all none of the emails can be replied to. They all straight up just say. Um, don't bother replying because we're not going to respond. This is a non-response email, and and yeah, like I mentioned, it's it's just it's it's sad. Yeah, because I don't know what to do. You know, I revise my resume, and and it, and it's just crazy. It's just crazy. You don't, you really don't think about it until until you're in that situation. You know, you don't think about about it and you know like i said I've, i was making good money in california and now i'm on the verge of of reducing you know I'm, I'm i'm sitting there actually open 
um, you know, reducing how much I my pay and my what I've been doing just to land a job. Like that's how bad it is. I'm like sitting here, you know, as like I said, I was making good money. And I'm on the verge of dropping that just to make, just to get there and get a job, just to get in the door. And I, like I said, I get that software engineering is different than game programming. I get that. But like I said, I still have all that programming experience and get hub per force, you know, sharing documents, kind of the main stuff behind it and working on teams. Um, like I said, the overall programming experience. Sorry again. Um. So, so yeah, it's 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 one of those things. Like you just sit there and you're like, what, like, what do I do? <laughs> kind of like that South Park. How can I teach these kids? Like, how can I get a job? And it's yeah, it's tough. It's real tough. And, uh, yeah, I know everyone keeps telling me to, to keep my head high, keep keep doing this, you know, keep, keep, keep working at something. And I don't know what to really work at at this point. I'm, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to, to, to keep my head up. But when you sit there and you apply for this job, you're like, I got this experience. They want three plus years programming and C sharp, .NET framework, got it. Leadership, got it. Um, you know, all this stuff. And you're like, S I got all this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. And a um, week later, hi, we've decided not to go with you. Uh, thank you again for your interest. Please don't let this dissuade you. Please keep applying. And you sit, kind of sit there and read that like, what? how can I not let that dissuade me? How can I not let that dissuade me? You, you just reject me on this job I thought I was perfect for. You know, availability, availability immediately. I am available now. Call me, please. And nothing. Nothing. Uh, it's just, it's, it's sad. You know, like, um, it's just, yeah, sad, demoralizing. Like I said, it just beats down on you. Um, and I can't. I, I'm more really stunned, too, that I've applied to almost 60 jobs, if not 60 at this point. I was keeping tabs, but then once the, once the tabs crossed, uh, you know, once that amount crossed 15, I think it was when I was approaching 20, I kind of was like, I, 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 I got, I'm not going to keep track because these are, it's just so heartbreaking. And, you know, like just to keep seeing those numbers go up, um, and just nothing. No, yeah, yeah. It really beats up on you. Really beats up on you. And I w w just wish, you know, wish that I just, I, even just an interview, which kind of it, it is, um, uh, sorry, hold on. Um, sorry about that. Um, yeah, like I said, it just, it just wears on you, and you eventually kind of get to that, that moment of just like, I just don't know what to do anymore. Like, I don't know what to do. So, which, you know, it, it's funny actually, talking to Mike is much more difficult than, than I thought. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like shit. Oh, probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't cuss in these videos, so I don't have to get flagged. But yeah, you know, I, it's. I want you know I want to talk about kind of the world. Then at that point too, what my what my experience is. You you hear about it all the time. You'll get hired. You'll get hired. And and like I said, now I sympathize with all those people out there who are in the similar boat of of trying, and they're like, you know, I just can't get it, and, I, you know, I've told people, I'll go straight into the freaking place, I'll walk right in there and be like, hey, let me apply, but no one wants that, no one wants to see that, you know, no, I, I actually did that to 
to a game company here uh, in where we're currently living now, our new place. And, and I walk in and I kind of talk to reception like, hey, and I'm looking to apply for a job. And, that's, and she just kind of looked at me and she's like, all right, go to the website. Here's the website, you know, slash careers and apply there. And I just kind of like looked at her like, yeah, it's not, you know, I get that. I'm not that daft. I understand. But like, come on, come on. Can you, can you, can you get me in? talk to somebody and you know what I gotta stand up a parking lot and so I so yeah yeah pretty like I said pretty 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 demoralizing and like I said I sympathize now for those people who, who are in the same boat of like a, like there's this one on reddit it's kind of quite a fascinating story woman kind of in a similar situation she working in HR HR uh, and her husband was given a job and, you know, they moved to a whole new state for her husband because similar situation to my wife, he, he was just offered an opportunity. We're like, okay, we can't really pass this up as a great opportunity. So, so let's take it. And so they move and, and, um, and yeah, she said she was unemployed for almost four months and she, I was working, she was working in HR and she thought same thing. Oh, this would be kind of a breeze. Uh, get me in, get me in uh, for these jobs because you know I've been working in HR. I'll be able to get something. And she said nothing. She even same thing. She kind of, I'm kind of going through right now a possible like, do I do a career change even? And she said similar thing. She was like, yeah, I kind of started to have that mentality even though I went to school, you know, for HR. And and she just kind of followed up with, I finally landed a job after four months. And she's just like, you know, keep your head high, keep working at it, don't let it defeat you. And and I sit there and I, I think about it and I'm like, I, I, I don't want it to defeat me. I don't, you know, and my wife too, she always comes home and she tries to cheer me up because, because she sees I'm depressed. You know, I, I want to work. It, it's, you know, it's money is getting a little tight now because, because of how long I've been out of, out of work now, you know, and, and thankfully we're not going to be you know, poor or anything, we'd be forced to live on the streets, no, it's, it's just where we have to now, you know, take huge, huge breaks, and, um, I'll cut back on a lot of things to, to kind of keep going, because we still got loans to pay for cars, and, um, just stuff, and, and yeah, I, like I said, I, I, I just, it's very frustrating, you know, because as a kid, you're growing up, right? You know, even still today, you still see those those postings. Okay, we want entry level person, and you're like, oh sweet, entry level. I'm you know recent grad, or I'm doing this. I want to do this for a living. Entry level, cool. Okay, entry level though. Five years of programming, must know all of this, must be have been a manager for a while, must have done this for a bit. You, you know, you, you just read it, and you're like, huh, what? That's not entry level. What, what is that? You know, obviously the point of that is is to is to um, get past uh, the the pay. You know, so now they can nickel and dime dime the person for for so little, right? Just there you go. Here's here's extremely low pay and. You know, most people at that point are kind of in the mentality of like, I can't do anything. I, can't, I need the job. Need the job. Need 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 to make money. So, you know, and I I liked games. I would love to go back into games. It kind of is unfortunate, like I said, it's, that there aren't many game companies here. There are a few. I think there's three or four, but but like none of them are hiring right now. All of them are filled up and. Um, Yeah, it, it's it's pretty. I guess I shouldn't say filled up. They're always hiring, but just not what I'm what I'm looking for. You know, I think I think one of them is hiring like a bunch of artists, interns, temps, and concept artists, and it's like, geez, you know, no programmers or anything, or even or if they are hiring a programmer, you know, they're looking for like a senior senior networks engineer, um, which they want, you know, ten plus years of of back end programming and. So, but yeah, the sad thing is, is, is you see that stuff, you know, I see, I look at some of these companies, right there, these software companies and they're like, oh, we need C++, we need C Sharp, we need Ruby, we need Java, we need Perl, 
and you, and you look at it, you're like, what? What? Like, what? Are you? Am I really going to be using that many different languages here? And and I I got to the point where now I'm just lying on my my resumes. You know, I'm just like, yeah, screw it. Like, I you know, there's no there's no way I can I can get 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 those. Or well, I guess that's a lie. I just no way I not I can't not get them. I just have to teach myself that. And so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just like in the you know screw it, screw it mentality. They're going to they're going to pull this crap of you need all this experience. Um, then yeah, then so will I, kind of thing. Um, oh come on, come on. Dang, these guys are respawning quick over here. Shoot. Uh, got him. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of relaxing to be back in, in classic. I, I always enjoy the leveling of this game. Um, you know, taking a taking a step back and enjoying the scenery and going through the map and I will say though I I, I did love I do love the um, LFG system that they introduced you know looking for a group you just click it all right I want a group for this and you just kind of sit there and you keep questing I think that was their greatest improvement I really really do miss that because like now you gotta go back to the towns LFG for this LFG for this looking you know looking for a group for for Scalamons or uh, right, you know, rage fire calves and just something. It's kind of a pain in the butt if you ask me, but to have to go back to that, but it is what it is at this point. It's still fun to go back and, and play this. Much slower. It's funny how slow it is too. Like, traveling obviously is a big one. Big traveling and leveling takes a lot longer. Yeah. You know it's funny. I talk to myself I tell myself in my head when I was going to do this, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to have so many talking points for this video. Easily make it an hour. And here we are, 30 minutes, and I'm struggling to, to make it an hour. I mean, granted, like I said, I don't think anyone's even going to view this video. And if you do view it, thanks. But if not, I, I don't... <laughs> no one's going to view this damn video. Which is unfortunate. But I, I just needed to vent. I just needed to vent and, and get it out of, of my current situation. And, and just how, like... It, it's true. It really is true. As a kid... They, you know, I was raised with the mentality of go to college, go to college. When you finish, you're going to get out and you're going to get a good job because you got that college degree and then you're set for life. And then you make a lot of money and you do all that stuff and it just works out for you. And, and as an adult, now you see that's not how it is. Maybe I chose the wrong field. There are times, you know, like my, my buddy, he's an accountant. And and he 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 jumps around to companies crazy. Like he actually has companies in other states. He just moved to another state as well. I met him in Cal, you know California, and he jumped to one state, and he jumped to another state, and he just tells me, yeah, all of these this company said I need to be an accountant for them, and then all of this company they reached out to me recently as well, but I don't want to leave this company because we just moved here, and it's just like oh my god, like don't get me wrong, when I was in California, I was getting headhunted all the time for different game companies. Um, which is nice, you know. I'd, I'd always get kind of those those um, those uh, emails. Oh, Travis, are you looking to looking to leave? Right, you know, are you looking to leave there, sir, to get out of there and um, and do something else, see the world? <laughs> yeah, see the world. <sighs> Anyways. I don't know. I don't know if there, I guess there are going to be many people that will watch it this far because it's mainly just me ranting. I don't know how exciting that is to to people to watch some random guy on the internet just complain kind of thing. Like I said, I it just I just wanted to express, like I said, how hurtful it is because I haven't been able to talk to anybody. You know, I've kind of kept it away from my wife because I, I don't want her to bring her spirits down because she's just killing it. Killing it at work right now. Like, they love her. They absolutely love her. They, they're just talking about all the stuff they're going to do. She just was laid out what her new position what all the new the new things she'll be doing and she's just beyond busy 
and that's awesome. And I, like I said, I couldn't be proud, more proud of her. She's worked hard for it. And, you know, I, I just sit here and I think, like, why? Why can't I? I like I said, I, I, I started in testing. And I've even started reducing myself to, it's a bad word. I shouldn't say reduce myself. But I even started going back to applying to go back into testing, you know, to just to get in there, to be like, come on. Like, come on, please. And and even then, it's, I still get nothing. I'm like, come on, how? How am I not getting anything? That's just something. You know? So. It, it, I think it really shows just... It really shows kind of how bad I feel uh, the system is today. Like, because... I got so I, I I did get I did get a, a few responses, but there've always been the online tests, right? There've always been those online tests. Oh, fuck! Crying out loud! Where did you both come from? Yeah, they've always been those online. I've got there's been two. Oh my god, which were the online tests? And you know, it's funny as a society, you see schools trying to teach kids like, okay, we're moving away from this this online test or this testing, right? Because they feel like that tests don't really teach kids anything it, it puts more pressure on them to know these things or when in reality you know most kids won't you know you don't really get tested in, re in the real world you you go to work and you kind of do your job you kind of have google search nowadays it's like your teachers back in the day saying oh you'll never have a calculator on you to do this well, and that's a lie because now everyone has calculators on their phones like it's just it's one of those things and and you get these tests and and, and like i said I, I just sit there and i freeze on them i just freeze because i'm like why is this a thing um you know and just give me a give me a different option oh man i stole my kill little dick Okay, let's see if I can tag you. Oh, the good old days of tagging. Man, you know, it's crazy how piss poor these bubbles are for priests back in the day. I mean, I remember when these things were, like, they're, I mean, I think in current, wow, they're OP as, as anything. Like, they, they, they really are. But in classic here, like, they just, two hits, gone. Oh, come on! Um, get him! Yes! Yeah. 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 Oh, man. I thought that guy was... I need one more hunter. I think like everyone looks like they need hunters. Not you. No, I don't need you either. Well, hopefully it makes sense. This is completely unscripted if you didn't, didn't figure that out. Um, like I said, it's very tough to kind of keep talking and talking for a good while. I only wanted to do about like an hour length kind of podcast to chat about this. Like I said, see if anybody even watches that I doubt it. But if you do... I, I, you know, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy listening to me just rant and ramble and then potentially check out my other older videos now. Uh, like I mentioned, I worked in game dev for a while. I worked on Bioshock. It's probably the biggest, biggest game that I kind of contributed to. And, um, got some videos of exposing, not exposing secrets, but kind of talking about the original designs and layouts they did. And, oh my gosh, why can't, ah, there you are. Got him. Uh, there we go. There we are. So, yeah. No, because I do, I love what I do, you know, it, it kind of, it's, it's actually even a bit sad, too, when I sit here and I, and I think about even career changing, because I've been doing, doing this for so long, um, you know, I guess I've been pretty much doing this since I graduated college, 
and and I, I enjoy programming. I really do. It's it's fun. It's challenging. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really. There are sometimes I'm not the best where I sit there and I gotta think like, okay, how do we solve this problem? You know, it happens. I'm not gonna lie. It happens. I do have those thoughts, but you know, I get the job done overall. And and it's just like I said, it's one of those things where you sit there and you wonder. You're like. What is it? Is it, do I have too much experience? Do I have too little experience? Am I just missing something? Like you look at this, is, is because you know at my previous company, I got some insight into that a little bit where, um, where it was kind of true. It was, it was kind of a, um, what a, what um. It's a checklist. That's what I'm getting at. Like, you know, HR. It's not not our our guys, our department who reviews it. It was HR who they got they screened it and I and I feel like that's in my opinion, I think that's where you see it is you see look at these things and you're like, Well, they go they look at it and then it's a checklist. Okay. They that department is looking for this, this and this and this. And like I said, I know it happened because of of um just uh Let's get this guy out of there. Because, you know, there were times where we were looking for overqualified people. Oh, for God, come on, really? Of course, he's not going to do anything. Come on. Yeah, see? Got him. Yeah, cool. Got him. Um, yeah, like I was mentioning, it's just, it just becomes a checklist, I, I think. And I think HR looks at it and they go, check, no, all right, does he got this? Does he got this? Yep, yep, yep. All right, give him a call or, you know, forward along to the department that we're going to talk to this guy. And, and I just don't think that's the best way. Like I said, we, we, there were times in the department I used to work in, you know, where we'd get way, way overqualified people and it'd be like, holy cow, like these these people are just way too overqualified for what we're looking for. And then the HR is like, oh, yeah, they seem the best. We screen them for the best. Um, and it's like, okay, well, thank you. We, we get, we're looking for the best. But, make, you know, these people are going to ask for to way too much money because um, if we just simply reviewed it, we could have thinned out the herd. Or even then, maybe, you know, and even then we'll still talk to them. It's not to say we won't talk to them when I work there. I, did, I do interviews as well. Um, sit down with these people and, and, you know, just like anything, get to know them. I feel like you can't determine anything from a test or a resume. You look at, the point of the resume is to look at, okay, what's his experience? Does he have the experience we're looking for? And we're looking for these bullet points, you know, programming, leadership, you know, team, blah, 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 stuff like that. Like, okay. Okay. He's got that. All right. Well, then let's talk to him to see what else, what else he can say. Because you can't. I just feel like you can't get that from from a resume. You, you can't get that personal experience to to talk to somebody, to to see where they come from, see how they work. You just can't. There's no way. You need to sit down with them and and, and yeah, chat with them all. So I can typical classic wow freaking vanilla wow experience you need one more thing and you never can get it i just never get it it's such a pain in the butt see come on Ugh. i was getting those i got those six from like what the first eight i killed which is all right it's fine eight but now i'm I'm struggling just to get one more. Let's break the beak off there, troll. Oh, 
fortitude. Oh, come on. Nothing. My first... So this is my first time doing Priest. In Vanilla. In Vanilla, I ran... Um, Warrior. Warrior. And then uh, all the way through Molten Core. And then Burning Crusade came out. And then I ran Paladin. Because I started a Draenei Paladin. And then I think after that Wrath of Lich King, I think I still ran Paladin. And then all the way up into... Ah, uh, there we go. All the way up into Cataclysm, I switched to Worgens. So let's now go get some Raptors. I need to find some Raptors. Fungal Spores. This is too much. Raptor Thieves. Harpy Thieves. What other quests can I do here? Let's see. Raptor Heads. Explore the Forgotten Pools. Go do that one. That one. That one, I think, are the ones I can... Firethorn, what? Can't get it. Ah, Raptor. Yeah, like I said, I mainly wanted to just tell my story, share my share my experience. I, you know, I'm still gonna keep going. Obviously, I gotta gotta get a job and, and, and all that. And I, I I sit here and you know I think. I should just make my own game. Maybe I should just make my own game. But like I mentioned, I while I love making games, I just never, I just never felt. I tried, I tried. I always need a partner though, maybe because um, I just need that extra person to kind of lean on, in the sense of, okay, this is where we are. Like, how can we flesh this idea out, or what can, what else can we do here? And I, and I, and I've always had that. Like I said, previous games I made when I first finished college. I had a good friend of mine. He he was my partner, and and he he was the big big more com uh, programmer than I was, like love programming and all that. And so he was kind of the, the one I leaned on to get those answers. So okay, where do we go from here? What's what's the best solution? You know, because honestly, like, I think of a solution, but it's like he he thought, of, no no, we have to do it this way because of um, memory allocation or just you know something. So, oh good, resisted again. Come on, come on. Shoot, took that dang thing long enough to die. Hello there, orc. Some silver leaf. Yeah. Yeah. It is it it's rough rough world um out there and it's it's un you know I don't know if it's unfortunate or it's just the way it is but it's yeah like I said you just can't help but get discouraged over the matter because you sit there and you're like I just don't get it I just don't get it you know I I have this experience I'm trying I'm trying um these things and I mean I'm sure I know it doesn't look like it now since I'm playing some World of Warcraft but I needed it needed to take a break. You know, if I'm not applying to jobs, I've been taking more classes, like I said, for Java and, and all that, some classes online and tutorials and stuff on how to how to get better. Because I, unfortunately, do not have time to go back to school to learn all this stuff, so I've got to 
got to kind of do it on myself by myself so uh, if I gain another level I think I should be able to have enough with the harpy harpy I can't believe I'm so low Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, not surprising when. What I gotta do? Shut down the valves. Huh. See, like, like this quest, I've never. I've never done these quests before. Granted, I, I played Alliance. This is my first Horde character, to, to say the least. Um, Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me, guys. Come on. Shoot, come on. My gosh, that was... That's quite the struggle. Shoot. I'm glad to see all the... Everyone else, like, just kind of dipped out of the area. Like, goodbye, I got what I wanted and left. So, get a... Oh gosh darn it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, come on. Oh for God's sakes, this is ridiculous. Are you serious? Go away. Fuck Arrgh! <sighs> Vanilla. <sighs> Alright, I think I'm going to close this video out now and upload it. Like I said, didn't want to do a live stream because probably wouldn't get any viewers anyways. But, you know, I just wanted this video to rant and complain about uh, just kind of how rough. I know I know my life is probably is way better. I'm sitting here in a in a apartment playing World of Warcraft, right? And I know there are people out there that have it more difficult, but I think I, the overall thing is it's just demoralizing to to go through these things and, yeah, try all this. So, well, if anyone did make it this far, thanks for watching. I'm not going to say like or subscribe because I really don't care. Um, it's just a fun little thing for me to do. Thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed me dying and screwing around and World of Warcraft classic, or at the very least, just, um, yeah. Alright, well, thanks guys.